So now we look at the Kingfisher. Um, kind of flat, flat, round, semi-round, rather flat head, and then a thick bill, or something like that. Okay, and then the, the body is quite stalky. Okay, and for all birds, they have a shoulder here and the wing comes up from here. And then behind the wing is the extension here, the body extend up the tail. Okay, then uh, this is a collared kingfisher. So here there's a sort of white band. And then the eyes are quite quite beady here on this right. and so here is brown you see and here is brown okay and then the wing detail the feather is this way so when you do the pattern huh, this way and uh, and just do a couple of lines uh, to detail out the tail and this is actually quite a thick part so here must make it a bit thicker this part here yeah. and of course the feet is always pointing uh, forward the elbows behind then comes to the front this way Try to draw as big as we can on a clay. On a clay piece, you can start with the tail and then it ends off here. And then a rather long and thick beak. Well, of course, you can trace on the template. The eye is somewhere here. Kind of a short thick neck and then the body is quite big. Stalky, here's the wing. So here you add clay. Because the wing is an additional part onto the body. And here add some clay, look it round. Right in here. Right, some clay. The feet comes out this way, back, and then forward. Like this. Okay, then you can cut up the base first. Slightly curved up. I'm going to add the wing onto here. And then the head. Add some clay. Add a little bit of clay. Make the beak. A bit thicker and blend it up just with a little bit of water like this put some water between your finger tips and blend press this down the clay if the clay is quite soft you don't have to score and slip only after working on the clay for half an hour, then you need to score and sleep because the clay is starting to dry. So you want to create a 3D 
profile and then round up the edges that's a real board of course this doesn't look like it's cut, cut up from a cardboard so it just needs to round up a bit see it's more natural this way Okay, the kingfisher is characterized by a thick, stocky bill. Kind of not so curved up. Okay, something like that. Then you can trim the edges so you can see the shape a bit better. Right, the eyes. Normally, I like to just press the socket in like this. See, then add eyeball. Most birds' uh, eyes are protruding a little bit, and the size of the eyes depends on what kind of bird it is. Usually, I have the Okay, at this point of time, you do want to use um, score and slip because the clay will be a bit harder. So, score. Add the slip inside, inside the score lines and press. It's too big. You can just go around it to reduce the size and slowly adjust until you find the right proportions. Hmm? So now I can uh, detail the feather. So for the wing, you can go like this. Most birds, the direction, if not all, like that, and then the tail couple of lines, maybe three lines. Okay, then the feather is, uh, you can quite see it, so this way. Down. Use the back of a chopstick. Okay, just gently, because the fur is quite fine. You don't want to press too hard. Okay, it's fine fur. I'm going to create a furry texture on the kingfisher. Alright, then for the Head is always like this, starting from the nostril part, go up over the forehead. You can see the fine lines. You can use the tip of the satay stick or chopstick. See the fine lines make it look really stick. Okay, take your time to introduce the textures the bird. Okay, eye expression you can, you can do like this. Happy one. Smiling one. And for the big part there's usually a line you can see there. Separating the big and the head. And birds all have this this line you can draw. You can see the upper and the lower bit. Okay, and tidy up the work a bit. There you go, you can draw some lines here. And just make this look a bit more natural. Okay, done.
Okay, now we look at the paracut. How do you make a paracut that's 3, 3D and looking at you frontal position? So let's look at first the shape of this bird, a head that's round. The beak is here, starting from the middle. And the eyes on the side here. Okay, the other eye is behind, you cannot see. Alright, then the body is like this, like a bowling pin, but a fat one, a fat bowling pin. And something like this, or Russian doll shape. Then the wing, just like this on the side, you can give a little bit more volume. The wing is popping out, and then the feet is, there's a leg there, there's a leg here. There's the muscle there, eh? the thigh, and then the feet. Okay, and then the tail. Kind of quite long, straight, long. And then this, this bird is actually standing on the branch. Okay. And then the other wing is just behind. I don't really see it. So, you need to make the pop-up beak here. You need to make a face that is, a head that is actually a little bit flat on this side. Okay. And then here is a volume, round. You see, round? Okay, then add on the wing. Piece of clay. You can draw again, or you can use the template. So, my head like this on the top. The big is here. Then a big pin, going like a Russian doll shape. The wing. He's kind of actually looking at you from the, his right side. So then, if you can see the right eye, then you should see the right wing. Then the leg is coming out from here, the thigh. And then, the tail, straight tail, connecting from the body down. I can cut it out. Like this. Okay, next part is to add the head to have a more pop-up effect and then we want to add the wing here, one more piece of clay. So you can cut it from the outside of the clay that you cut out, add on. Gonna hit. Okay, add on. And blend into the background. Next the wing. There's a tail. 